this presentation is um, my five cents, if you will. Uh, it's more to introduce myself to the Python community of Montreal and uh, um, and show you what I've done in uh, the last couple of months. Uh, basically, this is how to start building a GUI. Um, my experience, if you will. Um, at first, I, I wanted to build something because uh, we were thinking of buying a house and wanted to uh, build my own tool for evaluating uh, you know, mortgages and stuff. And it became somewhat of a tool in my uh, field, physics. And uh, I, I used this to uh, teach uh, undergrads and master students and new PhD students how to use uh, Python. So uh, the first tool I used when I started was uh, WX Python, and uh, basically WX Python is is great. Just you have the tools, you build it. Um, if you don't mind what it looks like, so this is an example I picked up on the web page. You have here two web pages. The first one is uh, WX Python, the actual website. The other one is another tutorial, which I, I would suggest going to the second one, uh, not the first one. Um, and and these two examples come from um, another tutorial. As you can see, it, it does what it's supposed to do, and it's pretty cool, uh, except if you don't mind looking at like Lotus 1, 2, 3 from uh, you know, an old DOS machine. Um, so this is what I built. This is the tool I, I use for um, uh, teaching how to use uh, Matplotlib and uh, NumPy and um, Optimize to students in my group. Um, this basically has uh, PyPlot in the back end, so you can use uh, dynamically the interface of the graph itself. You can load your uh, CSV file. You have all the uh, text control toggle buttons. Pretty awesome for a student that doesn't know how to load CSV files. Just it does it for them, and it's uh, it's very user friendly. Um, once you load your file, this is an actual run I did last week on the um, accelerator at UDM. Uh, this is actual fusion, um, so it's pretty cool, also physics. Um, you can load it, and then you have the buttons, and you, you have the logic in beh behind your code does uh, whatever you want it to do. So a student that wants to learn how to uh, use NumPy or uh, Matplotlib or how to optimize the data, how to load the file, this does it for them, but they can also go in the code itself, and it's uh, pretty cool. Except, as you can see, still it's uh, some something on the right end opened, and it's uh, you have switches and and clickers, and but it's it's bulky. It's not very good looking. Does the trick? You you can get the physics out of this. Uh, I implemented in this one that uh, you can actually get the fit by two Gaussian fits to this peak, and you just can plot multiple uh, graphs with the, um, the the top button there, which changes the layout completely. Load multiple and does it for you, and it's uh, but it's still very bulky. So it, it's it's good to use, but that's where I, I start to think maybe it's better to use something else. So this basically is all the library of my OS. So I, I looked into Kiwi. Kiwi looks better just from out of the box. This is what it looks like, and when you start using it, I didn't use it for uh, science, I used it for myself uh, for role-playing games, but you can either code in Python or code in the KV language, which is also a little bit lighter for your cell phone, for example. This is really cross-platform, uh, um, cross so I used it on my cell phone, on my Linux machine, on my Windows machine, on tablets, other people's tablets, and it's, it's uh, very efficient and very cool because the library of the buttons are all in the actual library. They don't load what you have from your OS. So whatever I code, everybody is, is going to look all the same. And this is what I wrote. It's for a little role-playing game, tabletop role-playing game called One Roll Engine. A very nice game, except it's very uh, demanding for your game masters. So you can just load a predetermined file, get all your characters, and then you have sub-menus. You can set their their health levels and all of that. You can click and you have all the sliders and it's good looking. It's, it's very nice. It implemented all the, um, the swipe action from your computer or your um, tablet. Very beautiful, but this is not so beautiful as in gray and black, but you can do whatever you want. You can load back files and you have interactive submenus. The way the layout is, uh, is organized, it's a little bit more dynamic. So you can actually say, create blocks and put them wherever you want. In the sizer of the WX, it's a little bit uh, clunkier. You need to know where it is. It's always an absolute value. So this one is a little bit better because it's relative values. So basically, if you want to start, 
building a GUI. Uh, you have these two tools, very nice. But the first one, it, it's said to be cross-platform, but it's not. And the second one is. And uh, for Pi game, which already comes with uh, Kiwi, it's, it's great. So um, I, I encourage you to uh, look into this. And uh, that's my, uh, my talk. <laughs>